I came home one day and as I turned in the lane, I seen a piece of a couch and I came upstairs and our couch was now a love seat. So I said to Roger, what did you do? He said, I took it apart because when we're sitting watching TV, you're too far away from me and I can't grab your hand. So now I put it at, at the curb so you wouldn't tell me to go get it and put it back together. <laughs> I knew from the start he wasn't going to get better when they took out his prostate. For the first time I was scared. I think when she called our service the first time she was in, in, a, in a in real crisis at home. I think it's a, it's a big decision for a family or a community that's assembled around someone who's, who is, whose life is ending. They were able to get Dr. Kilbertis and Maurice from Bruyaya to come and see Roger here at the house. Dr. Kilbertis looked at him and she says, what do you want from me? He says, I want to die at home and I would like you to make that possible. It's not the right decision for everyone. It, it, it can be someone's wish. But you really, need, you really need to have support in your home. And she was willing to support him and has, has just an enormous amount of courage. He was my, my soulmate, my love. I never knew a gentle man like that could exist. The, 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 this couple, they were, they were counting on each other. You do this because of love in many ways. I mean, it really represents a, an enormous commitment to another person. The day he passed away, I called the pain control and she said, sweetie, we're going to go through this together. You're not alone. She was never alone in a way because she knew that it, there was this virtual support. That support that could come at the time that she needed it. I laid down in the bed beside him and I held him in my arm and I told him, I love you very, very much and you gave me a lot. There were moments that it was very scary for her to be doing what she had to do. Uh, she still believed in what she had to do and she, she was highly, highly committed. And I said, I'll never forget everything you gave me. You love me for myself and I never thought anybody would. And then he just lifted his head but he didn't open his eyes and he stopped. He stopped breathing and I got out of bed and Maddie came and she took me in her arms and she said, you did such a good job taking care of Roger. I'm so proud of you. We were able to be there for her at the time she needed it. So she, she knew that she could count on someone and she felt heard. I think that's the most important, she felt heard. Briaya made it possible to give Roger his dignity to stay at home like he wanted.